Beardo Benjo. So by now, I'm sure we've all established that I like really strange games. I've played a lot of weird stuff. Some of it was weird and I enjoyed it because it was kind of funny to laugh at, but some of it I genuinely enjoyed. Um, the Good Time Garden I really liked. It was so, so, so strange, a little bit dark, a little bit twisted, and that is exactly the kind of thing I love. Watam I really enjoy. I'm still playing that. I'll put out some more episodes soon. That's not dark, but it's very weird, and I really enjoy it. And I grew up with things like The League of Gentlemen, um, Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, which I absolutely love. Didn't really grow up with that, but I do love it. Um, Fat Pie, All the Salad Fingers, um, Burnt Face Man, Spoilsbury Toast Boy, that kind of stuff. I love that kind of humour. It, it fuels me. It is my favourite kind of humour. Um, and I'm starting to find lots of games that share that same kind of same kind of twisted mentality. So hopefully today I found another one of those games. This game is a little bit older. Um, it's called The Bucket Detective, or Bucket Detective. Um, and I never had the ability to play it because it was a PC only game and I haven't been PC gaming for very long. But I have it now. It cost me pennies and I'm very excited to jump in and play it. I'm really hoping it's gonna be uh, super weird, super twisted. I watched the trailer and it seemed very offbeat. Um, and very bizarre, so I'm just going to jump in and hope it is weird and wonderful all at the same time. Oh, okay, I won't put commentary on because that will ruin things. Let's start a new game. Oh, PC gaming, man, it's opened so many doors to weird content for me. I'm having a blast. Look at that, that's all you need. Just, you know, seven buttons. You, a 41 year old man, David Davids. You are writing book called Bucket Detective. Book is not good. Ah, shit. Truthfully, you not care about write book. You not even like read books because reading gets headache from make think too hard. <laughs> you are married to wife who's abusive. Oh my god. By abusive, you mean she not do perverted sex whenever demanded. That is pretty abusive. You get perverted sex. You approach girls in the street. They not give it and instead call you creep <laughs> and pig. Rightly so. This is why you was writing Bucket Detective. Famous book make it impossible for girls to resist sex, especially classes girls at nearby community <laughs> college. At dinner with friend of yours okay. who has recent success in business, you say, writing book is hard. Is there not an easy way to write great book? Friend of yours smile with mischief and says, yes, yes there is. He hand you card with address and say, go here and do what ask of you. In exchange, you will get what is desired. And if you not like, you leave any time. Do not think more than one second to decide this is plain because it's much simpler to create good words on empty page. So, one cold and rainy morning, you arrive at address and enter front door. I love that art style. I love the very strange use of the English language as well there. Uh, okay, I've, I've arrived... Oh, I've done it. I've arrived at the house. Dial 359. Okay. So I can uh, I can get my little objective out. So that is my objective. Dial 359. Or I could just leave. I could just... I'm not going to leave. I, I imagine that will probably finish the game and it won't be that exciting. So just a little comment on the story before I start. The story literally is this guy uh, wants to write a book for no other reason than to find women who will do perverted sex acts with him, but he's too lazy to actually write a book, so he's come to some bizarre cult house, I imagine, from the looks of it, uh, to basically find the easy way to write a book that's going to make him irresistible to women and allow him to do perverted sex acts with them. That's the kind of game I'm playing today. And I love these pictures. The symbol on their chest is is dangerously close to another symbol. Um, but not so much so that I don't think I'll get away with it. Play. Hi, my name is Gwen Sleeveless. Sleeveless! I'm a three-year-old white male, and I'm the building's maintenance man, cook, and I also clean the toilets. God, you do everything. I thought it would be nice if once the Dark Lord is reborn to bring in 10,000 years of terror, if people could visit the place where it all began. What? Kind of like a museum to the origin of their torment. So I've installed these boxes, which I call Gwen boxes, all over the building to explain the significance of different areas. Okay. Obviously, since the Dark Lord Mishriel, the Seven-Tongued Slayer of Kings, the Roaster what? of the Innocent, the Defiler of the Damned has what? yet to rise, these Gwen boxes are kind of a work in progress. 
Why is why is Satan coming? Why is it? Why? Why? Hello? Anyone in the bath? No. No one's in the bath. Why are there plates and forks and spoons on the wall? Interesting decor choice. Okay, what do I need to dial? 359. Ah, it's broken. Ah! Well, I can't. Well, I can't dial 359 anymore, can I? Piss. Okay. I guess I'll go somewhere else. The Legend of Cream Hole Cavern. If that isn't a innuendo, I don't know what is. It's by Mip Freecell. Some of these names are fantastic. Got Gwen Sleeveless and Mip Freecell. Oh. One, two... Ah, uh, what's happening in that photo there? Jesus! Look at his tiny little arms and his absolutely gigantic cock. I just don't know how to feel about that. Uh, already I'm getting the impression here that dial 359 actually is, probably means to knock on the doors Oh, spooky. Why is that man spitting on all these tiny men? What is happening? Oh, I don't like that. Right, knock on the doors. It's, it's evident that that's what needs to happen. Uh, three, five, nine. Okay, where's three? Three, three, three. Okay, three. Three. There we go. See, I'm good at puzzles. I've got a puzzling mind. Three, five. I've got no sprint button. I'm so used to having a sprint button. Three, five, nine. Oh, dear. Is this a horror game? Sacrifice finger. Oh, don't put your finger in there. Bucket detective by David. Page one, paragraph one, line one. He awoke with fear and a gun in his hand. On the road to... Oh, he's going to... The Diamond Shore, I think. How do I... Wait, how do I pick things? <laughs> ah, my finger! Piss! Oh, sh that... Oh... Did I just sacrifice a finger to get a paragraph of my book written? I picked the diamond shore, so hopefully that was the correct thing to pick. I, maybe it doesn't matter. The Journal of Gwen Sleeveless. April 8th! That's my birthday. I was born on April 8th. Not in 1991. I was born in 1987. But April 8th nonetheless. Exciting. My journal pages keep falling out and making me lose them. I guess that's what happens when you buy a used journal that is basically rotting. I'm poor. Ha ha ha. That's pretty funny. What's this here on the wall? Please return. Someone's taken a freaking spoon. You don't just take spoons that don't belong to you. It's a lot of the exact same picture on these walls over and over and over and over again. Well, this is just insane, isn't it? Oh, this reminds me a little bit of the Stanley Parable. Uh, Jed Jedediah Holcomb and Dr. Z.W. Francis. I like both of them. These are the offices of the two fathers, Dr. Z.W. Francis and Jedediah Holcomb. Jedediah. Who are the founders and leaders of our happy little... <laughs> I almost said cult. It's, it's a cult. There it's definitely a, a cult. Don't shy away the from it. Embrace believed it. believed that they were in fact one being that had been divided into two bodies for fear that if one being had so much knowledge, power, and sexual charisma, the universe would be torn into shreds. They both so look like they're oozing sexual charisma. Separated. The fathers worked without ever meeting face to face or speaking aloud to one another. Instead, they communicated by passing letters through the mail slot between their offices. 
Okay. It was in this way that they laid down the laws of Mishriel. The god okay. among gods, the gimp in the graveyard, the pus of Xanadu. The gimp in the graveyard. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to have to pass some letters through some slot in the wall, am I? The pacifier. A vo oh my god. A vocal muffler for surgery performed without anesthesia. Jesus Christ. Oh, well, we, we know what that is. We know what that is. We're not going to speak about that. There's a spoon. Got to return that. I know where that goes. Oh, this bloody corridor. Oh, pick your, pick your spoon up now. One of three spoons returned. Oh, that's cool. A little side quest. Nice. Um, okay. What am I doing? Okay, so this is obviously a cult. And they have some kind of dark lord called Lord Mishriel. And these people have requested these things in exchange for service. So Max Housefield wants to be really good with computers and also have a ton of money. Kyle Manning wants a sword which kills my enemies without me having to hit them. However, I can still hit them for the cool effect of it. And millions of dollars. Oscar Oitzman just wants to know... Tell me whether my bitch wife cheated on me back when she went to Aruba in 1984. Also my business to be successful. Okay, so loads of people have kind of just made requests of their Dark Lord. Oh, a letter! By the Father's decree, when this document is stamped and submitted, thus begins the final phase of Mishriel's birth. Well, I better get it stamped and submitted then. Oh, stamp paper. Lovely. And I'll put that back through the slot. And I could just walk it around, but you know, there's a proper procedure in place here. And then feed that back into here. Ah! Oh, does it need to be stamped by both of them? Of course it does. There's two fathers. In you go. Bing! There you go, I thought so. I've submitted the necessary paperwork and I've lost a finger, so I'm doing well. Receive the truth from the two fathers. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, the fathers asked me to interior redecorate the building, but people have been complaining that they don't understand why there are so many plates, forks, and spoons on the walls. FTI. For their information... Oh, FTI. I like it. For their information, I saw a TV show about a palace in Europe, and they had plates and spoons on the walls there. So sue me for trying to make this place more elegant and give class. So that's why there are plates on the walls, because somewhere in Europe, in a palace, they had some. That's good logic. People also complain about having only, like, three paintings as decoration. I do. I mentioned that myself. Um, but these are ZW's favourite paintings he painted, and he wants copies all over the place. So if you have a problem with them, that's not my problem. Ha. All right, game. Referencing my inner monologue. I don't, I don't like that. Can I pick up his ashes? So I can pray. Oh. Just run off with his ashes? Is there any... any what do I? What am I doing? Um, should I put the ashes on the chair? I don't want to go down there. With the rebirth of the Dark Lord soon to come, the fathers needed to be certain which of their followers were true believers, so they constructed a challenge called the Believers Waltz. The fathers right. then sat in the chairs on this stage and telepathically delivered the precise steps required to complete the waltz. Those who completed the waltz were to be blessed with the gifts of the Dark Lord, while those who could not were locked away to die. Oh my word. Alright, I need the other I need the other urn. Up you go. Down you come. Oh I've got a jump button. Whee! Whee! What the fuck? I can't get in there. Uh, okay, maybe I have to go around this way. The fudge. I 
don't know what's happening. At all. What? 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 Good. Why is that good? What does this mean? What does this mean? Yep, sure. Okay. What's going on? What's going on? Does it matter what I click? Great. Great. I feel like no matter what I did there, that was always going to be okay. Unless I click the complete the believers waltz. I thought I already did. Oh fuck. Why are all the ferns shaking? What's in there? There's a slimy something in that room there. Making some garbling noises. Um What? Maybe I should press this button here. Begin waltz. What the fuck? Is that it? Oh my god, I'm confused. Still going. <laughs> Fuck. I just, it's so weird. What? Ah. Uh -huh. has been great you have shown yourself to be a fake deliver yourself to the cage at the far end of the room but do not despair your death will be slow and painful oh, i don't want loved to ones will soon forget you what if i just don't i'm baffled i don't know what's happening some kind of cult i think i have to go in this cage and there's a little knife on the floor so i don't think it's going to end well ah well in we go. Thank you. Spoon! Well, how do I... Oh, it's the end. I probably still could have got After out. a few minutes in cage, you realize, oh dang, this door never going open, and you regret taking orders from voice in the sky. I do regret that. Pen and paper and write final words, which is, I am dying here, but wish I wasn't. After that, you simply stare into space and think thoughts which is so insignificant, they're not even worth mentioning. You make no important realizations about your life and is not even savoring last moments alive. After several hours of staring into space, you change final words to say, actually, it okay to die because I'm getting pretty bored. The fuck? Six days later, you get so thirsty, you go to sleep, don't wake up, and then he was dead. The end? I am so confused. <laughs>